There's an aviary out here in the bottom floor of the Science Center for budgerigars. They're called budgies for short. They are a small parrot from Australia originally, but they've been bred in captivity for several hundred years. Everybody in the aviary is, is male. They tend to be faster vocal learners than the females, and they're also much less aggressive. So if something startles them uh, here in the Science Center, then they'll all go quiet at the same time. I got the birds in in the summer of 2013. My research focuses on questions of vocal learning and behavior, so the budgerigars are my test subjects. I have students and myself that observe them when they're in the aviary together. I also have a lab where we can pull budgies out and put them into different social groups, and so we're gearing up to start an experiment later this semester. I tend to group them together in small flocks um, and examine their behavior, their vocal learning, and then I can move them around from different social groups and see how they interact with new birds and what happens to their vocalizations when that occurs. But every time they give a contact call, which is what you hear the most often if you're standing in front of the aviary, you can distinguish one individual from the next, just like you can tell who's saying hello when you call somebody on the phone. It definitely provides a really great opportunity for students in my lab to get hands-on experience with research as well as with animal husbandry and handling. So students take care of the aviary every day, feed the birds, check on them, monitor them. Um, they help me catch them up and do beak and nail trims. I just hope that anybody who's interested will come look at the birds. It's a nice display to have and so I encourage people to stop by and spend some time watching them. So you can follow the budgies on Twitter and on Facebook.